Hey there, my flashlight professionals. We're back with two flashlights we're gonna review from Phoenix. We have the WH-26R motion activated flashlight spouting up to 600 lumens. We also have the WF-26R flashlight spouting 3000 lumens. Now before we get started, I'm gonna tell you that both flashlights were provided to me by Phoenix with no exchange for money for the review. I like the quality of Phoenix flashlights because I've been using them for over 11 years. I know the quality is something I can depend on and that's why I keep using them. Now to give you a little bit of background on the channel, I'm a heating and air conditioning refrigeration technician that uses flashlights a lot in dark places. I do these reviews to share my experience with my viewers that are also interested in and depend on flashlights. Now down in the bottom, you'll be able to jump to different segments of the video. If there's a certain part of the video that you're interested in, you will be able to see those individual segments and get right to the information you're looking for. I am gonna make this video short and sweet to the point. And if you like any of these flashlights, I will have links in the description down below, along with links to Phoenix's website. So the first flashlight we're gonna start here with is the WH-26R. It is a headlamp that it is activated by motion, so you can turn it on on and off so if your hands are greasy and you don't want to get it all over your flashlight you can do that now there will be times when you may not want that feature because you're getting close to objects that will cause it to kick on and kick off now to defeat that option press and hold the button until the headlamp flashes and now that feature is turned off no longer will it blink on and off on you now the flashlight does offer three modes of operation in spot and flood which is low medium and high in flood operation you have 5 75 and 300 lumens now rotate the button one click more. Now you're in the spot mode. Same thing, it gives you three modes of operation, giving you 30, 120, and 600 lumens. Now rotate the switch one more click that gives you 600 lumens of flood and spot combined together. That is not adjustable, it is very bright. Now the battery would still have three hours and 40 minutes of cumulative runtime in this turbo mode, which means the flashlight will automatically step down as it gets too hot. Now you're able to check your battery mode by hitting the button on the side, which we currently have four LEDs. Now over the last month or so that I've been using this headlamp, I haven't had it go dead on me yet. Battery life is really good on it. Now speaking of battery life, because the flood and the spotlight have different lumen ratings, the battery life is going to be a little bit different for those two different modes of operation. But in medium mode, you could have between 9 hours and 15 hours of total runtime. And in high mode, you average right at 6 hours. And in a turbo mode, it gives you up to 3 hours and 40 some minutes which that is an accumulative time because as the flashlight gets above 140 degrees internally, it will automatically start to step itself down to protect the lamp. Now this does feature a built-in battery which is non-replaceable. They use a USB-C with a nice rubber flap here on the bottom. I haven't had that flap open up on me to where it would let anything in there. And even if it does, all the flashlights that I've owned from them in the past has been waterproof even in the socket. The flashlight does have a limited lifetime warranty. Price point on this is right at $60, which makes it affordable for a quality flashlight. The headband does feature reflective writing on the outside. It does have holes, as you can see right here, that allow the headband to breathe. And in the center here, they have a silicone bead which helps this thing stick to your forehead when you're sweating. Now, when this is in motion mode, even though the lamp is shut off in the front, you will see that there's a blue lamp right here which allows you to know that it's in standby mode. Now, once you turn the flashlight off, that will go away. Or if you take it out of that mode, like I said earlier, by pressing the button, that blue light actually goes away and you don't see it any longer. So that's just a notification there to let you know that the flashlight's on. Now the battery specs on this is 2000 milliamps. It can recharge in about an hour and a half. It is IP66 rated. It does have a 60 degree tilt here on the front. The temperature of the LED is 6000 Kelvin. It has a limited lifetime warranty and the light is impact rated up to two meters. You can check out all these specs at Phoenix's website or check them out on Amazon in the links down below. Now jumping over to the WF26R flashlight. Like I said, this has 3000 lumens of Blind the bad guy lighting. This features an included 21700 battery. And if you're one of those persons that can't find their flashlight when they need it, it comes with a charging cradle, which you stick it together. When placed in the cradle, it has an LED on the front to tell you that it's charging and changes color once it gets to full charge. If you don't like the charging cradle, you're able to press down on the center conductor and pop that out. And then you can go ahead and put it right on the flashlight itself which then allows you to set it by your lamp stand or what have you, charge it in your car, whatever. It's just an option that allows you to keep track of your flashlight and where it's at. That green LED light there tells me that I'm at 100%. When it starts to flash, it lets me know that I'm at 85%. When it turns red, I'm at 50%. And when it starts flashing red, then I'm at 25%. So you'll know exactly where your battery status is whenever you turn the flashlight on. So if you depend on your flashlight like I do, you'll be able to know right away whether the flashlight needs to be charged or not. I will show a demonstration of the different brightnesses of this flashlight right now. Okay, like I said, there's low, 
medium and high and turbo which crazy amount of light i mean that's getting out there so it's got a heck of a beam pattern here it uh, throws out there plenty far uh, if you're trying to look for animals out in the field or you're hunting or whatever that's the light output in a real life scenario for those who want the specs on this, this flashlight does weigh 7.83 ounces. It's IP68 rated. It has a 15 day free replacement if you have any problems with the flashlight and it has a five year warranty. This one clocks in about $130, but if you've ever checked out quality flashlights, you know that $130 is pretty reasonable when some flashlights go well over 200. This does feature the luminous ST70 LED emitter. It has a throw of up to 492 yards. Now the battery in turbo mode will last around two hours and 41 minutes of accumulative runtime and in those emergency situations where you may not be able to recharge the flashlight, it does feature the eco mode, which gives you up to 44 hours of runtime. And because this features the 5,000 milliamp battery, it does take up to three hours to recharge. Now this battery is removable, which allows you to charge it externally or swap it out with a fresh battery. Phoenix also offers this battery with a built-in USB in the side of the battery, which would allow you to charge it external with the flashlight and an external charger. Now, like most of the Phoenix flashlights, it does feature gold-plated springs on the inside. The build quality on these flashlights like I said, is impeccable. I have never had one fail on me yet. Internally in here, you'll see that it's actually gold plated on the front side too. Getting into the different level of brightness and how to change that. This one's a little unique. You have a press button, which turns the flashlight on. Once it's on, you hit the side button to pick one of the four levels. Like I said, you have eco, medium, high, and turbo. And for our law enforcement, when you press that button there on the side that you use to adjust the brightness, it goes straight into strobe. If you're in your regular bright mode and then you hit the button and hold it, it will go into strobe then. You can turn the strobe off and then it will repeat back to the on position. So it does have friendly switching back and forth from high to strobe. It's really simple to switch the different modes. You just, like I said, tap the button. I, I like the fact that it is really quick to switch between them. Now I had a previous review here on the TK22R. If you're wondering what the size difference is on them, bezel to bezel, they are pretty much exactly the same height wise just about exactly the same. This has a tactical switch on the back which allows you to switch between it. You can check this flashlight out in the link up above and that'll take you to that one. This is also 5,000 milliamp hour battery included with it, but it has the battery that has the built-in USB and it does not feature any outside charging. Now this flashlight did come with the lantern there on the side. It comes with the belt clip here so that you're able to hook it on your pocket. These are all removable, obviously. It does have the bezel with the beveled edge there, and that deep reflector allows you to throw the light out there up to 492 yards. So if you're out chasing somebody through a field, or if you're trying to point out a rooftop unit from way across the way, you'll be able to see it with this thing. It's just ridiculously bright. Uh, generally, I only need the medium position. Now, as far as brightness of these two different lights, I like the floodlight the most because it throws the beam so wide back and forth. It doesn't have any hot spots at all. So you're able to go to medium or high, and it's pretty much a wash from one side to the other. More than enough brightness there for that. Now, if you're someone that likes the spotlight a little bit more, you'll be able to shine that at your subject matter there, and that's pretty bright for a headlamp. All right, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to check out the two flashlights. Like I said, this is not a review channel. This is just my experience with the flashlights that I feel as though are really high quality and I like sharing that with you guys. The only payment I got was the flashlight itself, which these videos take a lot of time to produce, so they're getting a good deal for their advertising dollars. If you guys wanna check them out, like I said, I have links down in the description down below. It'll help out the channel if you buy them through the Amazon links that I've listed. If not, go ahead and pick them up wherever you'd like. I'll link a couple other flashlight review videos in these sides, and I thank you guys for coming in. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. What's going on, my light? Uh, what's going on, my light flashlight fanatics? Fanatics. Uh, what's going on, my light? Uh, what's going on, my flashlight fanatics? How you doing, my light flashlight fanatics? Fanatics professionals. How? I'm also going to be talking about the WH26R. I'm also going to be talking about the. I'm also going to be talking about the WF26R. I'm also going to be talking about the WRHQF. So to defeat the motion activity, you can. So to defeat the motion activity, if you do choose, if you choose to defeat the motion, if you'd like to, re yeah.
If you'd like to defeat the motion activity, motion activity, motion sensitive. If you'd like to, if you'd like to remove the motion sensitive, yeah. if you'd like to remove the, oh my, my mind goes blank.